Middle East. You talked to Stein's mother again today. Yes, I did. I mean, Thomas's mom, she spoke with me a day after Thomas Stein was arrested. She didn't even know about any of this until she saw him get arrested. She said at the time she was in shock and that her heart really went out to Kayla's family. Now, fast forward to today, I spoke with her outside of that courtroom and she said there's a lot more information out there and she wants those additional arrests to be made. Let's take you inside of that courtroom. I'm Judge Margaret Steinbeck, and I'm here to conduct what we call a first appearance because you have uh, now been arrested on a capius in adult felony court, even though I understand that you're a juvenile. 16-year-old Thomas Stein facing serious charges, one homicide charge and three separate robbery charges, as the state attorney's office is now trying him as an adult. Mr. Stein, I'm going to order you held no bond and set you for the first appearance docket. No bond as he stands in front of not one judge but two today as he was in juvenile court as well as adult court. Police say Stein is tied to the crime back on March 17th because of an SUV that was seen at the crime that night. An SUV rented by his mom whose vehicle was in the shop at the time. 15-year-old Kayla Rinkin Miller was shot and killed while walking with two friends along Southeast 20th Street and Southeast 16th Place. Stein is the only suspect arrested so far in the fatal shooting of that Cape Coral 15-year-old. Mr. Stein, um, I want to advise you of a couple of rights. First, you have the right to remain silent with regard to the charges, and if you waive that right and speak about the charges, then what you say can be used against you in a court of law. You also have the right to be represented by an attorney. You have an attorney here for you, which is great. Thomas Stein is due back in court later this week. You can count on us here at NBC2 to be inside that courtroom and bring you the latest information on this ongoing murder investigation. Live here in Southeast Cape Coral, Elise Chingari, NBC2.